Our first full year in business was actually 2018. And that time we were using, you know, Excel for scheduling and it was just kind of a messy process. So Heather, she goes, hey, you know what? I'm gonna take Builder Trend. I'm gonna run it on this job and I'm gonna, you know, see how it works. We built out multiple to-dos in our templates feature in Builder Trend and we utilize it as basically a workflow management. It allows us to figure out who has the ball, when do we need that information by, who's gonna do it, making sure details don't get dropped between all the things that have to happen on a job. Estimating to inspections. You can write a comment as to you know the current status. You can link it to a schedule activity of what it needs to be done by. We'll lay out exactly where that four by 12 is. Just remind him that powder bath. We can do the baseboard piece that can go back on. So they already replaced the slab bench in the shower. So yeah, we might want to do that first thing Monday. We'll use to-dos for everything from punch list to uh, pre-construction design to-dos, generate initial floor plan, for example, and assigning those durations and those deadlines and tying it back to the schedule. If the plumber shows up and your faucets aren't there, then you're missing a big step. So having somebody else remind whomever is going to pick up those finishes that that's done. I mean, it might be my project, but maybe I need somebody else to cover picking up that finish item for me and getting it to the site so I can assign it to somebody else. Little things like that is what ensures those big oops moments don't happen. We've all had those, those happen inevitably, but it allows us to kind of keep track of who had that. You can comment on it, say it was done, hand it off to the client, check it off. All of the parts and pieces that have to happen in order for the job to be built, we tie all those to a schedule activity so that it's very clear expectations when they need to be done. 